Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: A certain sum amounts to rupees seven hundred ninety-eight point six zero after three years, and eight hundred seventy-eight point four six after four years. Find the interest and the sum. So this is the question on the surface. So for this question, you have to do and solve it by two equations. So first equation we write that principal is equal to P as no principal is given. Rate of interest is R. Time will be equal to given three years, and the amount is given rupees seven hundred ninety-eight point six zero. So this is the amount. So now we have to find the more formula that is therefore principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power n. That n means the time. So therefore we write to the power three is equal to the amount. So amount is our seven nine eight point six zero. So this will be our equation number one. So now we will frame our equation number two. So principal is our p. Rate is equal to r. Time is equal to now four years. And the amount is equal to rupees given eight seven eight point four six. So here also frame our formula that is principal into one plus Rate by hundred to the power four is the equation amount that is eight seven eight point four six. So now we write divide equation one by equation two. That means we have to divide both the equations. So we have to do it like this: principal into one plus Rate by hundred to the power three in the for the first equation, and for the second equation it will become principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power four is equal to seven nine eight point six zero by eight seven eight point four six. So first we cut the principal. So now this num two numbers you can also cut. So as here is three and here is four, so therefore we cut this one, and here only the four will be cut. So remains one by. So here nothing remains, so it becomes one, and here only one plus r by hundred remains is equal to seven nine eight point six zero by eight seven eight point four six. So to remove this one, you have to reciprocal both the numbers. So it become one plus r by hundred will be equal to. So this side also eight seven eight point four six by seven nine eight point six zero. So now r will become only r is equal to. So now first this one will go. So it becomes eight seven eight point four six by seven nine eight point six zero plus one. So here will become minus one bracket. And here, this hundred will become multiply hundred. So R is equal to. So this number take this number as the LCM seven nine eight point six zero. So here eight seven eight point four six minus again this number that is seven nine eight point six zero bracket into hundred. So it will become R is equal to. So after we subtract this, it will become seven nine point eight six. By this number seven nine eight point six zero into hundred, so you can cut the decimal point as both are in tenth place. So now I cut the zero and seven nine eight six and here also seven nine eight six. So I cut it. So it remains only this ten. So therefore the rate of interest will become ten percent. So therefore this is the rate of interest and also the value of R. So now I have to find out the principal. So therefore, now to find out this value of this principal, so it take value of principal is P. Rate of interest we got that is ten percent. Time we will do with the three years. That three years equation with that, and for that three years the amount is rupees seven nine eight point six zero. This is the amount. So therefore, formula is principal into one plus rate by hundred. To the power n is equal to the amount. So now I put the values. So it becomes principal into one plus rate is our ten by hundred. 
to the power of n means to the power of 3 is equal to 798.60 so now here you cut the uh, 10 so now it becomes principal into so 1 plus 1 by 10 it will become 11 by 10 to the power of 3 means this will be written 3 times into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 is equal to 798.60 so remove the decimal point say by 100 so cut the zeros so now it means principal will equal to 7986 by 10 only this was one into into so now the one that are in down that is 10 into 10 into 10 will go up so it become 10 into 10 into 10 and the one that are up they will come down 11 into 11 into 11 so cut 10 so now I cut 11 and 7986 it will become 726 so here no space is there so we write down the principal is equal to 726 into 10 into 10 by 11 into 11 so now again we cut 11 and 726 it will become 66 and finally again 11 and 11 6 so it become principal is equal to 6 into 10 into 10 which will be equal to 600 so principal it becomes rupees 600 so therefore for this question the rate is equal to got 10 percent and the principal it got rupees 600 so this is our final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions